Well, here we are, that time of the year again, soup season. So for my first soup of the season, I'm gonna be making my version of a French onion soup. And we're using a few different styles of onions and a few other ingredients, and we're gonna make a delicious soup here. But first, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified when I create a new video. Like and share this video, it really helps out the channel. Now let's get into the recipe. So before I start chopping all these onions, I'm gonna take a leak. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna take this leak and we're gonna chop this up. Seeing that this is gonna have uh, the most dirt, sand, uh, and all kinds of debris and stuff in it. All we want is the white part, maybe a little bit of the green. We don't wanna use this. That we can use later for stock. So I'm gonna take as much of that as I can here. We're gonna go right down the middle here. This is what it looks like. Many, many layers there, just like a regular onion. I cut off the root. And then I'm gonna go right down the center. Like that. And I'm gonna keep them in half moon size uh, cuts, just so uh, we can, I can match up all the other onions to it, so it kind of cooks at the same time. All right, so let's take that and Maybe about uh, three eighths of an inch. I'm gonna cut about three eighths of an inch slices. And you wanna use the sharpest knife you have, otherwise you'll be crying. Okay. Okay. Okay, you kinda get that all into the water. And you want to swish them around just to make sure you get any of the debris and dirt and stuff. We'll let that settle for a little bit and we'll just scoop up the top and dump the water afterwards. So the next onions are going to be the ones that are going to make you cry. These are the yellow ones. The yellow ones tend to be very, very strong. So I'm going to go real quick with them. When you're using the knife, try not to press down on the knife. You want to make sure that you're rocking the knife in. Uh, that'll help it slice so you're not pressing the juices out. That's what's going to make your eyes tear. Okay, and when we're slicing these, you want to go with the lines in this direction here. If you go that way there, probably be okay, but with the lines, you, you can keep them a little bit smaller, I think. And the last onion is the Vidalia sweet onion. Break them up a little bit, make sure they're all loose. The Ninja Foodi is now set to sear saute and it's preheated for about five minutes. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil and a stick of butter. It's about uh, four tablespoons. And we're gonna get that all melted up. So now that we get the butter and the oil boiling away here, melted all down and mixed, gonna add all these onions in here. Get that all in there and take the leek. Get that in there too. And I know it looks like a lot, but don't worry, it's all gonna soften and get shrink down to uh, to the bottom. It's probably gonna look one quarter of what it looks like right now. So get everything coated. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. We don't wanna add too much because we're gonna be adding a lot more stuff uh, later. Okay, so maybe, maybe a little teaspoon, a couple of pinches of it and some black pepper. Okay. Give it a little toss here. And you want to, this is probably going to take a, a while, maybe 15, 20 minutes, uh, maybe as far as a half hour, I guess, to get there, depending on uh, how much water these onions contain. And we're going to let them cook for about 10 minutes. We'll come back and stir and we'll repeat that until they caramelize all the way down. Okay. So now the onions are fully softened and somewhat caramelized. They're not gonna wait till it gets all the way caramelized. You can if you wanna cook them for the next hour, but I'm good here. You can see the sugars here, just kinda catching onto the bottom and we're gonna get those up when we deglaze it with the liquid. Add about a couple of tablespoons of flour. This is just the all-purpose flour. Just to get that in there, that's what's gonna help thicken the sauce too. And we want to make sure everything gets coated. 
So stir that all in. And it may stick on you, but that's fine. Okay, let's, we're gonna let that cook for a minute or two. Some garlic, this is about a teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic, a couple of cloves, about a shot, shot of bourbon. Not too much. Now you can use cognac if you like. That's the traditional way. I've got bourbon in the house, that's what I'm using. Stir that in there. I'll make sure we cook off the alcohol here. And I'm also gonna throw in some Marsala wine. You can use uh, sherry. Basically, it's a sweet wine. Marsala is a sweet wine also. And I'm gonna add maybe half cup. Stir that all in there. And I turned the heat up on medium uh, while we were cooking the onions down. So I'm gonna boost that up to high again so we can get a boil going. Next thing is some beef broth or beef stock using a couple of cups of that and some chicken stock. Use this whole container here. We're going to make quite a bit because you can freeze this. This soup will freeze nicely. All right. I'm going to add a bundle of thyme. I got it tied up here, so I don't have to go fishing for it later. So I'm gonna throw that in there. A couple of bay leaves, get those in there too. And a couple of dabs here of Worcestershire sauce, maybe a tablespoon. Okay, and I'm just gonna put the lid on and let it boil. You can let it boil for a half hour, an hour, as much as you want. I'm going to let it boil until I feel like uh, I'm at the right consistency here. It's been boiling now for about a half hour, 40 minutes. You can see it's starting to thicken up nicely. I mean, it's, it's ready to go here. We're just going to add some finishing touches here. So I'm going to add the green onions that we had left. I leave some on the side, give that a stir. Taste of a seasoning, make sure we don't need any more salt and pepper. I think the flavor is good, so we're just gonna let this cook for another few minutes here. All right, so now I've turned off the foodie. It's been cooking for a while. Let's take our little bundle of joy here, the, the thyme, take that out. And don't forget, we have to dig out the, uh, the bay leaves too. You don't wanna leave those in there. You're not gonna make many friends if you leave those in there. So let's get those. So you wanna make sure you pull the bay leaves out. Okay, that's the second one. I made these two uh, loaves earlier because I wanted a fresh, nice fresh bread today. So I'm just going to cut off the tops and make a bowl so we can get into it and toast it up a little bit before we put the soup in. So just going to take just the, the top rounded end off just like that. Oh, look at that. Huh? Doesn't that look great? Nothing beats homemade bread. All right. And I'm just going to take the guts out as much the guts or the, the breading out. I'm going to leave a little bit of a wall in there anyway. And we're going to use the insides for, uh, for uh, croutons. So I'm just going to take, I don't want to take too much out because then the soup will run out the bottom. So I'm just going to press that down. Like that just to give it a nice base. All right, next, we're gonna get some olive oil. In the base, over the top, pretty much everywhere, why not? Okay, I take brush and just make sure I get, get it all covered up. Brush the outside a little bit so we get a nice thick crust, a nice crunchy edge. I'm gonna get this into my air fryer. Just gonna toast it for just a couple of minutes. The bread is now done. It's nicely toasted. Take a look at that. Oh yeah. Nice and crispy, a little crispy on the inside. So we're gonna let this cool. So now I'm gonna grate up this uh, Le Gruyere. Uh, it's a uh, Swiss cheese. It's a Switzerland style cheese. Uh, I put this in the uh, freezer for about five minutes just to harden up so it'll allow me to shred it without it falling apart. I'm going to take the skin off one side just to clean that up. All right. 
and I got my big box grater using the large shred on this uh, so it'll just sit better sit better in the uh, in the soup can never have too much cheese now I've taken my onion soup put it on the counter because it's scalding hot we want to make sure it cools down a little bit uh, and I'm going to stop plating it up. So what I'm going to use is this pie dish here. I got this small pie dish, maybe maybe four inch, that uh, the loaf actually fits nicely in here. So I'm going to grab some of this Gruyere cheese and just kind of stuff it in there. Okay, get that all in there. Okay, and we're going to stir this up and you can see how thick it turned out. See, see that? So I'm going to take scoop here and you see the bits are nice and small they're not super big so we can get into it and really eat it okay that's going to soak in a bit and it might drip down into the bowl which is perfect it'll give us some afterwards i took the the, the insides of the bread and i used those for croutons so we're just going to put those on top first get a couple in there like that as many as we can fit on there. Get it all in there. And we're gonna follow it up with some more cheese on the top like that. And it's okay if it runs over and because it's all gonna melt anyway. So I'm just gonna slide this right here like that. Close the oven. Now, if you're gonna make more than one, obviously you, you use a bigger oven. Air fry or going to go for maybe about five minutes just until the cheese melts okay so we're just going to take it out of the oven so we can take a look oh yeah look at that it's still bubbling like crazy mm -mm -mm. all right so i'm going to dig into this bad boy now now it's, you can see all this cheese and oh the gooeyness so i added some french fried onions to it too to give a little bit more crunch on the top and just to add more of everything, you know. So, I mean, take a look at this. I mean, this is just, just insane. Now, I'm probably gonna burn myself, but it's all for a good cause. So I'm gonna go for it. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. You get the, the onion from the top, the crunchiness uh, of the croutons. Oh, you can, that Marsala wine comes right out. Ooh. Oh, you guys got to give this a shot. This is really good. So for my first soup recipe of the season, French onion soup, I think this was a success. Let me know in the comment section below if you think so too. So let me know what you do different in your recipe. I'm always open to new recipes and new ideas. Check out this video here. It's my tomato soup recipe with some nice uh, grilled cheese. Mm, that, that came out really good. I got some basil in there awesome so subscribe if you haven't subscribed and click the bell notification so you get notified when i release a new video uh, again thanks for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed the recipe and i'll see you in the next video